There's no evidence of a transgender person hurting someone in a bathroom. Alyssa Bryant is a transgender woman and an attorney who's advised Tulsa Public Schools on its gender nonconformity training programs. She says she's seen a lot of acceptance lately for transgender people, but the bathroom issue has caused some backlash. So the ch choice for a child who's transgender often is simply to dehydrate themselves and not go, and they experience just a misery. Tulsa's education seminars are to help teachers and staff better understand the topic of gender nonconformity. The policies are still being developed, and just last month, the district updated its anti-bullying policy to include protections against discriminating based on gender identity. But there are people who think the bathroom is the place to draw the line. Tina Lane commenting on Facebook, male DNA required to use the boys' restroom, female DNA required to use the girls' restroom, problem solved. And Todd Baker saying, boys use boys' restrooms, girls use girls, and anything else you're going to foster an atmosphere ripe for abuse. The notion that guys are going to pretend for two, three months to be transgender just so they can get into a women's bathroom, it simply doesn't happen. As education continues and policies are worked out, administrators admit some parents are polarized. However, they're hoping they're able to rally everyone around what's best for the children.